Back on the program here, Tanner. Congratulations again. Yeah. We'll have more of that video coming up. If we don't get to it today, I'll get to it next week when Laura uh, or Coach all, White and then the presentation too. of the trophy, stuff like that. All right. Now, going to give away two Don mm -hmm. Simon silver yeah. dollars this morning, gotcha. valued at over $20 each. For those who don't win, I'll just keep them. The 11th and the 22nd person who texts, 11 11. See, Matthew, it's channel 11. That's how clever. It is. Very clever. But today, <laughs> there it is, 6034 It's clever, right? You got a pet today, on I want you to text. I know y'all are all on the edge of your seat right now. Your thumbs are ready. Text Rick a message about how much you love Notre Dame. Oh, no. Text Rick a message. I will keep talking about it. Tom, you said Watch you were your language, text Your dentist is Bill Davis. <laughs> you yeah. got an appointment Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> he missed an extra point. Thanks for bringing that beat. up. Well, we never I'm forget. I'm sorry, Rick. 24, 24, 24. But now, it wasn't the last but play of the game, so he it doesn't really matter. Anyway. <laughs> Tom, now. you were at that game. I was. Oh. How 1973. was it? 1973. It was great for a while. <laughs> Rick, we, you watch we still the had a chance to win at the end if we just stopped them on that third stopped down. Stopped them on that third down, or Matthew. 19. Uh, I was a few years from being born, <laughs> so I don't remember it. But you remember people so talking about it. I've heard about no? it. So. Yeah, that's how it was. Yeah. Yeah. We were you got your phone? Are, are any texts coming in? I need to make sure. Oh, my phone's off. Look. Let me turn it off. Phone off? Well, how are we supposed to do, communicate <laughs> out here and talk to the multitudes watching this morning that want to say something to Rick about Notre Dame? Do you need to do a disclaimer and let them know that your picture's not actually on yeah, the phone? Yeah, my picture I mean. is not actually on the Well, they're probably the waiting for Rick's phone number, but you're actually not texting Rick, me. Send it to, so no, no, don't send it to Rick. <laughs> the 11th. Rick's no, number no, is. No, two. No. But here's Dr. Glenn's cell phone. 603-4848. Text Rick a message. A short Rick, message about Rick, Notre, Dame. I love Notre Dame. You can hate them, because I know you. If you say you love them, you ain't gonna win. Rick, I hope Notre Dame loses. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, Rick. I hate Notre Dame. Good. I like this coming in. These are all coming. Rick, Notre Dame is not my favorite team. <laughs> Notre Dame is the best. Way to go, Brett. <laughs> I right. hate Notre Dame. Rick. I'm no, pretty proud they're using four-letter words that aren't that we could say on the air. I really, that's a now, when you go home before Christmas, around Christmas, you're going to go in Walmart and ask them where all the Alabama <laughs> stuff is. Notre Dame does not have a chance. Rick, uh, why you grew up with Notre Dame? Loser, <laughs> Alabama won. <laughs> All right, but anyway, if you uh, text in, that's the original, 11 11. You see? Rick, Notre Dame that's... plays like Auburn. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty oh, bad right, right there. there. That's a good one. <laughs> hey, let him win. <laughs> that's, that's a winner right there. Like Notre Dame because they believe in Jesus. There's one. I hate Notre well, Dame. Well, I hope Alabama does too. <laughs> don't you? I mean, we, we ain't a bunch of freaking atheists down here. <laughs> what was that, Catholics? What was that? You tell me about trailer trash the other day. Uh, golden Domers versus trailer homers <laughs> is what one of, one of them I heard. Love Notre Dame, Rick. Not. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew, you had an Auburn's uh, bowl game shirt too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I've seen that going around. <laughs> Notre Dame yeah. just yeah. stinks. <laughs> it's a, it's a, white white t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. It's, mm. it's pretty good. Huh? So oh it's just a plain white t-shirt. Uh, getting some good ones? <laughs> no better than Tennessee. <laughs> Yeah, Brad's telling me Alabama needs to be in wife beaters. Yeah, okay, Brad, thank you. Thank you for your comments from the back. Going to love when Bama beats Notre Dame. I mean, Rick, it's all because of you, man. Okay. You know, I'm just, hey, you know, you these silver dollars, dollars out there. And we're also going to be doing this next ten. week, too. We'll be giving away okay. two every day. We'll do our I Christmas thought it was going to be another beat down for <laughs> next week. For we'll, do our, we'll do our, uh, I can't stand watching ESPN Lou Holtz. He just gets, he just, he spits too much when he speaks. You <laughs> He's their claim to fame. What are they winning? 88? Oh gosh. Notre Dame is so overrated. <laughs> Hush. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame will not make fame. The golden? Buy him a Bama because he will need it to the hide his face. <laughs> <laughs> not in Bama's league. Boy, poor, poor Rick today. Well, he he has has to play football. I can, I can only imagine it's going to get worse from here to <laughs> game, game day. Rick, so. you're famous. So what would it be like going to your dentist and having, um, you know, Bill's a great guy. Yeah. He really is. Yeah. We have fond memories of that. Yeah, if he's okay. not, he's dry. Brett is a win winner and also Patty Campbell. Congratulations. We have our two winners. All right. So two winners. But thank you. I'll be keeping them coming in. Rick loves to hear about Notre Dame. <laughs> I thought it was going nuts. Do you actually think y'all going to beat us? 
I like to think that, yeah. You know what ESPN is saying? What are they saying? They're saying Alabama will be going for their third national championship consectively next year. Well, who do they play next year? You were talking about the schedule. They don't play anyone. Have you seen our schedule? <laughs> Brad, let's go over this schedule, Matthew. Have you seen it? <laughs> I haven't seen it. And there's like Let me two tell you, games I'll, that I'll, are... I want y'all to see how tough our schedule is next. We're going. It's going to be a tough to be a repeat of this year. As soon as Brad finds <laughs> it, we can, all, we can all look at is it. That, uh, does that mean like Western Carolina there. will be played twice? We play Georgia right? State. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here it is. We got Virginia. Ah. Virginia Tech. First. We got two open dates. Tech at A&M. That might be a tough one. Colorado State, Ole Miss, Georgia State, Kentucky, Arkansas, Tennessee, Open LSU, Mississippi State, Chattanooga, Ooh. and Auburn. Now, that's a tough schedule. Man, you don't know how good Chattanooga might be. Yeah, you know, never know what they're going to pull out of their hand. <laughs> you guys I'm might be playing in that stag bowl, yeah. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you got hey, there are two bowl games on this weekend. Yeah, I don't remember who plays. They start tomorrow, right? Yeah, I got over. Well, anything new at Chick Fil A? Well, Arizona, Nevada. I've just been informed. Arizona, Nevada, huh? Yeah. I anything going on at Chick Fil A besides these cookies? Oh. Patty, text me your uh, address and I'll mail it to you. You too, Brett. What's it cost to mail one of these? Now I may be losing money on this. <laughs> so maybe you should have to come pick it up. <laughs> we'll mail it well, to a lot of people, your yeah, cheapskate. One day this week we did it. Text me where you're texting from. Not the kitchen or in front of your, you know, in your bedroom. But what city? Well, it was like 20 different places around. Notre so. Dame's mascot is a tombstone because they're going to get buried. Ooh. All right, Ron. So <laughs> how much does it cost me to mail one of these, really? I hate Notre Dame. If I'm losing I money now, I'm keeping them. Today. Huh? No, I'm going to mail them to I everyone. think you'll come out all right. Probably three yeah. or four bucks if I had to guess. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, you'll need that much? much? Well, I don't know. Two you stamps. Got insurance? Max. It's kind of heavy, yeah. Two stamps, yeah. Max. I'm going to go by Don's Day and pick up another sack full. Don's <laughs> <laughs> Day, we'll be, side side we'll be giving away every day next week, too. Two each half hour next week, so you can give them glory. We'll mail them to you. Really, I do Can believe. we send them COD? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really do believe if you take it to Don Simons, he pays you twenty well, why would he, dollars. Now, why don't he make sense? Silver. Why would he give them to me to give to y'all, and then he can buy them back? How's that a good deal for him? Well, I well, mean, he's going to sell it. Business. You're advertising, yeah. and instead of getting a dollar, you can get twenty, twenty-two. So well, it's why a win for the get person. Whole sack he gave me, go back out there and sell them to him. <laughs> because that's not the well, way he wanted to do it. Yeah. He wanted us to give them away. Rick, you won't make any more comments about no. You'll be back with us next week for a Christmas party. Right? <laughs> yeah. And then after that, the Friday before the game. I'm already declaring the Tuesday after the game on the seventh. That'd be the eighth of Alabama State holiday. I tried to get him to is have that, a party that night, that, but he says no way. <laughs> there ain't no way I'm putting up with you. Shut up. <laughs> You know, hey, you I would be. You a, I would be a, a good party. Guest. Just invite. I would be. A, I don't really. You've been to my house and had your picture taken in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're always a good guest. <laughs> well, at least he didn't leave his underwear. Like, shut up, yeah. dude. <laughs> or did you? <laughs> no, he can explain that. I <laughs> You're not going there, are you? <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Hey, we brought back some old buddies of mine from uh, back mid '90s, uh, Biggin and Bubba. Uh, I shared you, showed you one of those yesterday. We're going to go out today with one where they do. Uh, Y'all deer, deer hunt? No, no one up here. Well, you know, if you smell a like a deer, basis. you're more inclined to that deer to Country come deer, forward huh? to you where you can kill it. You know? Really? And Clay, I'm still waiting on some more of those deer steaks. Mm, but this is another way. episode of. Y'all got anything else to say before I go to this video? No, roll tide. Have a great roll weekend. tide, roll tide. Y'all can keep texting about Rick. He loves this abuse. <laughs> I can't go through all these now. I'll come up with some new things next week. Let's go to this recent episode of, y'all love this one too, of Big Un and Bubba from about mid-90s. Y'all like this one, about <laughs> deer hunting. Y'all hang on. Let me turn. Oh, howdy. I'm Big Un. And I'm Bubba. And welcome to today's episode of Big Un and Bubba's Outdoors. Now last week we got you started and carried you out and showed you how to scout to find the area where the deer are located the most populated. Well this week we're going to be talking about how you get him to lure him right in up under your tree. Ain't that right, Bubba? That's right, Biggin. So this week we're going to talk about scents. And we're not talking about the kind of scents that money-wise, we're not talking about the kind of scents that most people haven't got. Common we're talking sense. about 100% deer stink. And that's what we're out here in the outdoors for today. We like to concoct our stank right out here with the outdoor flavor. Look oh, at all these right. mats out here. We, we got right. it going on out here, ain't we? Right Woo! Right. Smells like corn to me. Woo. Hey, look at that. There's a big one over there. I believe I can get close to him. Won't you put a little of this on and show these folks how this stuff works? All right, let's go. Look at him. Woo! Get 
Hey, all right. All right, listen. Ah, shit. You go run him out. You go run him out. Hold on. Take your bow in case it gets dangerous with you. All right, now what Bubba's trying to do, he's sneaking up. Look at him, he's sneaking up. Oh, oh, hey, ho hold it, hold it just a minute. Hold it. Hold on, Bubba, I'm coming, I'm coming to get you, Bubba. Hold on, get him, Bubba. Come, tag me, tag me. I'm coming, Bubba, get him, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Get him, get him, Bubba. Come on, Bubba, get him. <laughs> I told him not to use that much. Hey, you don't come back. Tell all your other dear buddies. Bigger than Bubba's in town. <gasps> I know you used too much. That second helping was too much. Folks, it works. Tune in next week. When, when we're going to go out and, and get our own Thanksgiving turkey. Game turkey week. That's all for Big and Bubba's Outdoors. Man, that's stuff. You all right? Yeah. yeah. I would have had to. I would have had to. Bend that down. The eyes of the snake, I had to tend to it. For Rick, Rick, <laughs> Biggin and Bubba, that little deer stink there. I thought y'all might enjoy that this morning. No. Oh goodness, this is too funny. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> Any other comments on him? <laughs> Not uh, that she can read no, on yeah. that. <laughs> 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 All right, football nice. season. You know, when we talk to Rick, he's the only guy I know for Notre Dame in this part of the country. I did walk in church the other day, and the guy said, "Man, go Irish." I'm thinking, where'd you come from? <laughs> this ain't Catholic, Baptist. Well, we ain't really Baptist, but yeah, kind of. But anyway. So, Matthew, what, what kind of score did you predict? I know we got a couple of weeks out. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go uh, yeah, 21 to 10. 21 to 10? Yeah. I'm going 40 to nothing. Okay, little man, you're next, a little leprechaun. Auburn's <laughs> got their own version of that, too, Rick. Mm -hmm. I've seen that. So, Tom, you were at the great game in 73, one of the all time classics. Yeah. We we had about, we stayed, stayed at the Mona Leon, we had about 20 people in the room. Did you cry? <laughs> Uh, not the end. <laughs> <laughs> when you got home. <laughs> you know, the thing about Alabama fans, now we're so spoiled. If we lose one game, mm -hmm. season is basically over. So, y'all yeah. should have lost three or four this year. Y'all just love that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? They're in the same game as you for What's the What's that linebacker y'all got? Uh, tail. Tail going to get mm -hmm. KO'd by the Bama Tide <laughs> defense, huh? They like that. That's good. Uh, I don't that? know much yeah. about going on this weekend, but the parade starts don't get tonight at 7 o'clock, and it'll run Saturday and Sunday and Monday also. We'll run 20-something times. It'll run on Christmas Day. Replace the morning show. We'll be off that week. Taking a well-deserved week off, we'll be back cranking that second day of the new year. Then I'll take that day off after the Bama beatdown of the Irish. Right, Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> well, you would be taking his calls that day. Yeah, so don't get <laughs> next week. We'll be giving away some of Don Simon silver dollars, too. Huh? Will you be taking his calls that day? What, if we lose? Just during the game. Rick, he always calls me. He'll be knocking on the door if they win. Uh, <laughs> be more than calling, won't you? Yeah, <laughs> will be, I guess. <laughs> All right, we'll be cranking up next week. We'll do some Christmas stuff. Barry Kay will be joining us next week. Next Friday. Y'all's Christmas songs mm -hmm. next week. We'll be feeding <laughs> probably 20 or 30 in here next Friday for our annual Christmas show. You guys, I know, will all be back but right now. And Frank is out of the hospital, in case you folks wanted to know. He's at home resting this morning. He should be back in action next week. Yeah. All right, we're going to get out of here for the uh, – you knew he was in the hospital, didn't you? I did, I did not know that. I wasn't aware of that. He's doing good. Mental ward. No, it wasn't. Huh? It wasn't? No, it oh, wasn't. Oh, I thought was it was. <laughs> I, just, it, well, I, I know Frank didn't text to win a silver dollar because he's ineligible and he don't know how to text anyway. Right. But right now, we'll get out here for the week. If y'all need anything, y'all. Oh, don't forget. My iPad, countryrover at gmail.com is my email address. And there it is right there. My cell phone, 230 -1123. Don't forget, TNN, call your cable provider now. We're going to turn it on here in the next 30 days, 30 to 60 days, maybe. Mm -hmm. As soon as they <laughs> get it on cable, y'all call Knowledge, y'all call u y'all call Charter, Mediacom. Mediacom. You Charter. want 11.2, Matthew. Got TNN, it. Rick and Bubba Show Live each and every morning. have to request 16. it. All right, it's going to be a great-looking weekend, a little bit of rain. There ain't no football to watch, but uh, some good pro <laughs> games on Sunday. We'll get out here for the weekend. We'll see you all bright and early Tuesday. Have a good weekend. Yeah, Chris, Jamie, want some?